so condensation uh, condensation fine uh efrain can you tell me what do you mean by evaporation evaporation the definition of evaporation ma'am when we put a substance in something uh and it uh, evaporates and disappears evaporates and get dissolved okay uh, another definition another definition yes ma'am it's a process of a liquid such as water mm. turn into a gas form vapor a oh, gaseous form or vapor okay that also correct okay so because next chapter uh, we will have some physical and chemical changes again evaporation under we will be talking in that so evaporation we have two uh, definitions actually in this chapter we are learning evaporation in order to separate them some things okay for example if you want to separate the salt from sea water we have to use the evaporation okay that's that is the reason for it so now what do you mean by condensation vaiga any idea what do you mean by yes, condensation yes ma can it the say? process where water yes, vapor sir. becomes liquid okay water vapor turn into liquid so condensation is the reverse process of water vapor okay condensation is the yes. reverse pro process of evaporation yes. evaporation yes. Yes, Edwin, can you explain how does the rain form using condensation and evaporation? Yes, ma'am. How does rain rain form using condensation evaporation? Can you explain in your own words, Edwin? Ma'am, can I try your answer? How does you are getting rain? Just repeat in your own words. Ma'am, can I see? Firstly, uh, first, can I? No, no. Edwin is saying, please wait, all of you. Yes, Edwin. Ah, and then what will happen? It will evaporate. Evaporate, and after that, it condenses. After that, condensation takes place. Okay. Uh, yes, fine. Okay. Who is next person? Anushri, can you repeat? How yes, does the rain? rain form yes. mm. from mm. the seas the water evaporates and it goes to uh, the clouds Upwards, clouds yes and then uh, the temperature of clouds uh, will reduces reduces mm. and clouds can can can't hold mm. uh, that much uh, then it will be fall yeah. into uh, earth as a uh water rain. okay okay uh angelina rose can you say yes ma'am ah uh, yeah you say what do you mean by uh, how does the rain fall ma'am rain fall it hmm. it evaporates from sea and okay. it fill in cloud hmm. and after it it rains Okay, fine. Aaron, Casey, can you say how does this uh, rain fall? Yes, I am Ahil. First, first water from oceans and rivers evaporate uh. and go to the sky, which okay. forms clouds. When the droplets mm. are very heavy, the uh, clouds color mm. will change into dark blue. Or mm. After mm. it cannot hold the weight, it mm. releases the water as rain. Okay, very good, very good. Ahil, I want to ask you: Did you do the seminar? Uh, I mean, the dictation, Ahil, morning session. Ma'am, I was having network issue. That's why. Okay. Ma'am, me too, Angelina Rose. Okay, fine, fine. Ahil, now you say what is the what? How does the rain fall, Ahil? Ma'am, first the water vapor comes from the sea, mm. and then ah. and then a, a condensation. The Uh, uh, water vapor become form a cloud. Ah, uh, form the cloud. After clouds, what will happen? After clouds, a uh, if mm. it's then after they combine together, they form a rain. Ah, uh, they form a rain. Okay, very good. So I think it's very clear to everyone. So in this, how many process is taking place? Two process: evaporation and condensation. So, ah, uh, these are the some of the examples that we can have the separation of ah uh, things. due to uh, more than one or two methods now we are going to see that kind of one activity 
so first activity we are going to see separating salt and sand separating salt and sand from salty water so salty water contain how many components one is salt so one is sand then what is the third component water, water. so so water. far yeah so far you have learned about uh, sedimentation decantation all these things you have only two components correct sedimentation what is the what do you mean by sedimentation ananda ma'am sedimentation is the lighter thing will be up and the heavier thing will be down and form okay. two layers okay fine okay daniel how many components are there during the sedimentation what how many components are there in the mixture during sedimentation and can i tell you no no i ah uh, yes daniel how many can i can i say no let him say let him think then i'll get three sedimentation there are three things which are the three things for example muddy water how many three things are there in that daniel muddy water which are the two components of that mixture can you tell i'm salt and sand okay i'm talking about muddy water muddy water which are the two components in that and can i ma'am can i ma'am ma'am daniel let him think you will get it okay fida fatima how many components are there in muddy water two ma'am can i ha huh? Two, two. Okay, Savra. In the morning class, I did not see you, so you did not attend the dictation. Correct? Yes, ma'am. I ah, didn't wa wake up that ah. time. Why, Savra? You have to wake up early. You have a class, no? So you are losing the marks of dictation. Correct? Okay, Prinava, tell me. In salt water, how many components are there? In salt water, Prinava. Salt water, how many components are there? Others, please mute it. Let me let let others also answer. Prinava, Prinava, you are not attending the class. I think you are doing something there. That's why you are laughing. Abhimanyu, how many how many components are there in the salt water? Can you tell me two things which is present in salt water, Abhimanyu? Say salt water. Very simple, Abhimanyu. Um, can I? Hmm. He also not answer. Okay, Royce, tell me how many components are there in salt water? Hmm. Salt. Salt and salt and water. Water. Okay, two components. Correct. We have two components. Okay, fine. So yes. similarly, in this method, now Angeline Relix, Angeline Relix. Yes, ma'am. Now we are going to have an activity. It is sand. Salt is mixed with water. How many components are there in that mixture? Angelin Relix. Ma'am, can you repeat? Sand, salt, and water. salt, sand. Put it uh, mixed with water. So, how many components are there, Angelin? Three. 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 Which are those three? Which are those three? Sand and water. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Sand. Salt and water. water. Okay, That's I salt just and water. I just want to come back to come back to you because I forgot about Fridan's seminar. Fridan, your network is okay now. Fridan, are you listening? Yes, Can you present your seminar now? Ma'am, no, okay, ma'am. Okay, fine. So you switch on the video. Then no, I can. Spotlight on you because they they want to see. So after finishing Hridan seminar, otherwise I will forget about it. Hridan seminar, we will continue. Ma'am, ma'am, there is someone else who will be there, right? Who? No, no, one and is you over. Told to Fia to do also. Fia, Fia. Fia did it. Uh, Fia did it. Okay, she mm -hmm. had a network, but she did it. Okay, okay, fine. So we will complete Hridan. Okay, Hridan, continue. Today I am going to tell about a soluble substances. Okay. What is soluble substances? Substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances. Mm. When you mix with 
water the sugar dissolve to make a transparent hmm solubility salt is soluble in water hmm two substances that do not dissolve in water are called okay. insoluble substances okay ma'am example hmm. sugar salt hmm lemon hmm milk hmm juice coffee tea okay yes ma'am i prepared that much only okay uh, you don't know how to prepare ppt hridan no ma'am our point our point ma'am next today our can point. Point. point presentation our point presentation ma'am next today is there I... anyone to help you at home yes ma'am uh uh so who is your brother or someone is there at home to help no, you no ma'am okay ah uh, where are you staying are you staying with your father? what is soluble substances ah, okay what is soluble substance very good felix can you give me the answer for what is soluble substance ma'am hello ma'am ma'am left he left <laughs> okay okay edwin you say you say substances uh. that dissolve in what are called soluble substances okay abhi menu give an example for soluble substance ma'am uh, uh, sugar sugar very good very good okay rena no, sand ah uh, sand is a soluble substance so what okay no ma'am it is not no. it is insoluble salt ah uh, okay ma'am salt sugar salt sugar very good okay yes, hridan okay thank you okay. why i am yes, saying that at the end of this chapter again this solu soluble things coming up that's why i made hridan to uh, say what is his seminar to conduct the seminar. seminar ah yeah. who is oh, that who is that who asked me ma'am prinava ma'am prinava i have already given the uh, some students to conduct okay fine okay so it is going to according to the order according to the order how many roll number ah uh, roll number who is supposed to do jowal justin krishna nandita fine okay yes, yes. uh now who else is there then uh, because i am going to alphabetic order prinava your term will come in next term okay others will okay, conduct the next term and here someone is missing emmanuel jiffy emmanuel jiffy did not conduct the seminar uh then uh this one who I mean, is that morning mohammad saim mohammad saim also did not conduct the seminar saim switch on the video saim who is there switch on the video morning session i did not see because mohammad saim his name is coming uh coming before nandita so before nandita you supposed to conduct the seminar mohammad saim switch on the video please Uh, if Good i ask morning normal saim saim is zend right he did not conduct the seminar so nandita before nandita he has to come uh, conduct the seminar okay fine so we continue with it i'll i'll give him another chance for it so children so we we, we are still here that means here we are got three uh, three substances mixed mixed and you are getting a mixture that is known as uh, salt sand water solution and in this we are going to uh, separate only salt and sand we are not going to separate the water we are only salt and sand so in this case we are using some of the methods we are usually used so we can separate the things using different methods that is the last topic of this chapter so the first activity what is shown in your textbook is separating salt and sand from the mixture of salt plus sand plus water so the first thing okay. step is that so you can click the picture of it i don't want you to copy it down so if you if you click the pic appear uh, this slide screenshot the, uh, screenshot you will get the uh, picture also then it is very clear to you so please have it that so step 1 we are collecting the mixture of salt and sand second step you are mixing with the water Ma'am, maybe network Ma issue. Ma'am, power failure. Maybe network issue. Yes. Power failure. 
पावर फेलियर नेटवर्क उसको नहीं चाहिए वो ऑटोमेटिक डिड मैम लीव नो यस स्टिल शेयर स्क्रीन यस नो नो डिड मैम टेक द चेंजेस इन मॉर्निंग नो यस 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 आई वाज नॉट Did ma'am give any messages in the group? No. No. Rice is the host. The host. Rice is the Ma'am joined. Ma'am joined. Okay, so yeah, ma'am children, uh, there was uh, some network issues. Okay, children, so we continue with it. So I am just uh, my all that things are gone. So I'm activity. I'm activity. Activity still. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. One minute. One. I'm going to explain that today. Okay. One minute. Can explain. One minute. Should we do that activity? Uh, uh, you can tell. I don't tell you because uh, sometimes you need to hear to the substance and all. It is not good that uh, okay. Sometimes it may not be. Ma'am, can you type for you? Can you show the? So, ma'am, can you tell? We can write. One minute. One minute. You can write. I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you one minute. Okay. One minute. Let me take the slide. Okay. What do you do? You can do this, but. be careful because uh, uh, you need to have a, you have to heat the water in the fire so usually you should not take you should not take uh, many water in this you, you cannot take much water in this for example salt and sand mixture and you mix it in a steel vessel or, or copper salt salt and sand mix together oh. and put it in half tumbler of water okay then you nicely stir it you stir that after stirring put that a mixture into a steel vessel or the vessel where mother makes no, tea and you two. can boil it you can boil it so you continue boiling no, it yeah it you can you, you, you can don't use much water because much water it will take a long time it will take a long time for you to do it so what you have to do that take a some uh, half tumbler of water in that you put some sand very little sand and very very little salt and stir very well okay stir very well and okay. afterwards the way what i have showed you you stir very well nicely then afterwards what you should do take that water in a vessel and heat it so second part before heating one more thing and what you, you have to do, do this first step you have to first separate the separate the sand you have to first separate the sand with what method 
for that we are using filtration so you can take a sieve you can do the filtration by using the strainer it's not compulsory i'm not telling everyone to do it anyone would like to have interest please do at home and you see whether you are able to do it that's what i'm telling i'm not saying okay, compulsory okay okay ma'am i'll so, do first no, thing so first thing what you do separate the sand and how do we separate by using the method filtration so use the method filtration yes, and you separate the sand now what we is can remaining have... now what is remaining once the sand is over what is remaining now salt water only Sweet salty water. water okay oh salty water only salty water sand is removed no so naturally what is remaining the next one only salt salt water. Salty water now what you have to remove you have to get the salt sand water. so for sand. that only you have to heat the salt water after removing the sand using filtration you will do so first method to separate uh, sand we are using the method filtration and how to separate the salt we are using evaporation so here we are using two methods in rain formation you are using two method condensation and evaporation here also there is two method to separate salt and sand sand can be separated by sand can be separated by uh, evaporation sorry sorry filtration and the salt can be separated by um, in the first step we should keep in the gas tub no no first mix it sand salt water mix it then filter the sand how do you filter use the strainer you know tea the mo your mother yes, will strain right. the tea yes. so when you Aripa. use that strainer Aripa. the sand us we add it by the part so when you ah uh, when you strain strain the sand it will remain in that so you can remove it now after that what is remaining only salt water remain in order to get the salt in order to get the salt from the salt water you have to heat it so this is the picture fourth step you can see there is no sand inside because already we removed the sand so now we are getting only salt solution correct and then little salt solution only you take and then you going on we'll heating that slowly ma'am ah. that we should keep the salt water in the sunlight ah. heat Uh, either you can use in the sunlight or under uh, on the top of the gas fire okay but be okay. careful ma'am we uh, should take rock salt right uh, rock salt or uh, rock salt you should use rock salt okay, okay ma'am see I mean, either 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 you can keep under the sunlight on the terrace otherwise you can keep that vessel uh, steel vessel or what you are using keep it on the fire and keep it little fire and just make the entire water to get evaporated and let yes. us see ah uh, let us see let us see after some time you will see there is some kind of uh, white color residue white color residue will be remaining on the vessel and that white color residue will be the salt okay yes. okay ma'am okay ma'am uh, curries this method pardon ओके this method you can separate only sand and salt what happen to the water then what happen to the water after evaporation evaporate it got evaporated vapor turn into water vapor and disappeared okay yes, you can't get the salt you can't get the salt back clear i mean you can't get the water back so this is one activity uh and the next class because now we won't be finishing next class we will have one more activity okay yeah? ma'am this is another okay, activity uh, how do we separate how many things sand also separate salt also separate also okay so that is another activity another activity okay ma'am it it is little bit a uh, big process okay it need lot of patience to you okay in order to we have to get to the salt also 
sand also water also water. okay i mean so, is it compulsory no this is you have to understand this activity the question can be asked from this maybe i will be give you this picture to you okay i may give you this only picture and i will ask you what are the processes involved in this then what are the things you have, you have to say you have to say uh, condensation evaporation correct so so like that clear so this activity based questions will be given the diagram and will be asked which are the process is included in this activity ma'am I mean, is it how many uh, and then once you have put then under that i will be giving you uh, the define the process evaporation define the process sedimentation so if you look at this picture ah in this picture it is actually condensation if you look at here uh, the water is boiling the salt water is boiling and you are keeping uh, some ice on the top of this is in your textbook ice on the top then this water vapor touching this metallic it and is falling into the uh, water so that i'll explain to you later so here Excuse condensation me. condensation then come to evaporation condensation evaporation so before that there is also is a sedimentation process so filtration also is there okay so so many process involved in that so this is little more bigger process up to here more or less same there is no nothing yeah. different only few process okay okay ma'am okay, okay ma'am okay, ma yes who is asking some doubt can you tell me it's me aaron what is the meaning of residue Something residue uh, means uh, the solid particle which remain after filtering. Okay, okay so if you, you. Uh, if you separate the tea powder from the tea, tea you will get the sediment uh, that tea leaves. Correct, Aaron. Mm -hmm. So that is residue. Clear. Okay, and tea water after filtering you are getting tea. So that is filtrate. So after filtration, uh, the heavier particle is a residue, and the liquid what you what you get. tea from the tea uh, tea water you will get tea leaves and tea and what is one is residue another one is filtrate okay fine okay, i just wanted to know is this students are present now so others i have put the attendance i only have doubt regarding ronita roy what about no, ronita roy okay ronita roy is present no no okay. so she is not present in the morning session also fine what about the sri hari sri hari is present the no, map no. i think ah she also she he also present so others all are present now mm. some are missing my first class and some are coming in the second class i know it no mohammed saim saurav saurav here is absent yeah all these people angelin relics morning i did not see you now i i can see you then so many others also present now see that when you have two classes please wake up early and you attend to the class okay